We serve you in the Lord Jesus. This power will give you praise, Jesus. We worship you. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your loving kindness. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the grace to go out and come in, O oh Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything you've done in our life today, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy, Lord. Thank you for your mercy, Lord. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your mercy, Jesus. Thank you for your mercy, Lord. If you have not been the one who was on our side, Lord Jesus, where well, would we have you been? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For your love, for your mercy. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. When we are lost in sin, when we are lost, Lord Jesus, on the, on the path we don't even understand or know anymore, Father, your mercy look at us and deliver us and save us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Right now, Lord, we will come to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We ask the Lord who we have sinned against you, Lord Jesus. Consciously, unconsciously, Lord Jesus. You have mercy on us, O Lord. Wash us with the precious blood. Thou hast shown upon the cross of Calvary in the name of Jesus. Bless me, O Lord. Bless me, O Lord Jesus. Mercy, O Lord, we pray. Mercy, O Lord, we pray. Every door will open to the enemy, O Lord Jesus. In every day of our lives, O Lord, we close those doors right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of the hand, mercy, O Lord Jesus. We have missed triumph over every judgment of the enemy over our spiritual body, over our lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. There is no like you. No one else can touch my heart as you do.
to those worries, those anxiety, no matter whatever it is, um, that is the reason why he came to this world, he said, carry you know, your bodies and your cares and your worries, anxieties, bring them to me because I care for you, hallelujah, I care for you. something in your life that you have more than enough in the name of Jesus. You understand what you're going through. Hallelujah. The man at the well, so, so the man at the pool of the shelter has no one and he was there for ages. The moment he discovered that he actually has someone, then he was made whole. Hallelujah. Because ignorant most times stand on the way to our victory, to our to our healing, to our deliverance. The Lord is telling you, He's standing at your door and He's knocking. Open the door, 
let me in. In the name of Jesus. Because that's the reason why I came to do you good. Hallelujah. For me, it cares for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I pray tonight in the name of Jesus 
every power of ignorance that has put us under undue slavery, under wicked ignorance, the blood of Jesus against you, you powers of darkness, in the name of Jesus, we break your hold over our spirit, soul, and body tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mara, the power that does, does not want us to know our God, that preventing us from doing exploits, the blood of Jesus against you. 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 In the name of Jesus. All your tents and all your altar that have been erected against our spiritual advancement, against our, our, our dominion here on earth, the blood of Jesus against you. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit and demon ministering ignorance ministering ignorance wicked spirit the blood of just against you over as we somebody in the name of break your hole in the name of jesus thank you lord jesus tonight lord jesus move in a mighty way and your name alone will glorify in the name of jesus we pray amen and amen hallelujah and i'm very very sorry in the morning i did not know the time was changing when I woke up, it was so, oh, I was like, Christ, what is happening? After promising my people that we're going to have a morning service, it was so late that I just had to do, I just went back to my former, my normal way of, uh, you know, I just did my personal this thing, you know, morning, morning prayers, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. As I was doing it, oh, my spirit was not, I was not happy at all, because the sense of this uh, constant morning and night prayer, is to strengthen some people who always give excuse that you know it is too it's too early you know how can i pray 12 o'clock in the night and wake up and go to work again and you know, wake up early in the morning around four or five and pray before going to work my brother you can do it satan is wicked we've been doing this so much since 2019 we've been doing it morning and night and I do, if I tell you how many hours of work I do every day, you will not believe it. Hallelujah. And therefore, you have no excuse. You have no excuse. To be a strong Christian, you need to take at least, at least, at least, morning and night, very, very important. You have no excuse, my brothers and sisters. I have so many things that is going on in my life, a lot of a lot of wicked activities that is going on in my life. With that, I'm doing full time, more than full time job. I'm still doing this. You have no excuse. Hallelujah. I'm just repeating this again because of the kind of uh, I wasn't happy at all in the morning. Hallelujah. When I was, we were not able to do our early morning service. Hallelujah. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't fun, but I was able to do my personal one, which is very, very important too. Uh, yeah, please, 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 please. They just wake up in the name of Jesus. Very, very, very important. I'm telling you, if you don't observe your morning prayers and your evening prayers, I'm not too sure that you're able to make heaven. Seriously. It's not because of the disobedience. It's because of the wicked program of the wicked ones against Christianity, against you and me, against those who stand for the truth of truth and righteousness. You cannot survive it. You cannot survive it. The wickedness of the wicked is too much. And you need to, you need to, that, that, that song we do sing that Jesus Christ started with prayer and ended with prayer. It's not, it's not a joke. And again, see your master. Bible says you will sneak out and pray all night. Pray and you pray. He pray. He pray. He pray. You don't compromise that at all, please, my brother and sister. Please, 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 please. Ali, I've been doing that for, in short, this this bit of prayer started when did it start? That was two thousand and the. Around say around ten or eleven, we started praying, 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 praying. I was doing that my personal whatever. All the attack was coming. We are doing it to the extent sometimes we do do up to three, four hours every night since 2011, 12, 13, and all that. 
until the whole hell God looks at me. I know because of the prayer, the, the whole attack I am receiving. Because of prayer, that is the reason why he came. 2000 and, 2000 and the, when was that? 15. When the enemy said no, <laughs> it cannot continue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, please let us take it. You know, if you are in a comfort zone of the enemy, he will not trouble you. Seriously, he will not trouble you. If you are not doing some spiritual damage in the kingdom of darkness, he will not trouble you. But if you are, your brothers and sisters, if you are, that means in the in the in the, in the court of heaven, you you you, you, are, you are you are you are you are doing some. You know the heaven is appreciating you. And, but if you're a Christian, you don't. My brother and sister, please let us try in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I pray that God will strengthen us in the name of Jesus. And, and it's a very, I'm very, very happy. Sometimes I see some people catching up the fire too and begin to have their own prayers and all that. Hallelujah. Please join. Join us. If you cannot join us, please, in your own private time, make sure you do it. At least minimum of at least 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the in the in the in the in the in the evening. At least try to make it one hour. That will that be better. In the name of Jesus. Very, very important. Very, very important. Very, very important. And yeah, because if you if you understand the program that is set out in the spiritual realm, and yeah, I thought I'm the only one who was saying I was listening to a message today. One of the men of God was saying something that really that really, that really, that really touched my heart. He says Satan has at least five years. Sometimes some of them, sometimes they have a five years of program to make sure gradually kill your spiritual life or prayer. Five years. Running the same program. Gradually you are dying gradually as a Christian. You don't you don't even know, know. Before you know what's happening, so totally over. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I tell God that God have people. Out there who are still preaching the, the word of God, I pray that if that you will hear, that we hear and um, who take those words seriously in the name of Jesus. You see, the reason why I'm saying this way, you know, things of God, you know, is destructive to the kingdom of darkness. And when you stand in the path of right, holiness and righteousness, on this, the path of truth. You know, the world doesn't like it at all. Not only the world, even your fellow Christians, they don't like it. Your fellow Christians, even though you go to the same church and, that, and you take the preaching, the thing they do in the church seriously, your fellow Christians that you go to church every Sunday, most of them, they don't like it. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Because some of those who don't like it, that the one who are not serious with God, they're just going to service and not just for social, for social gathering, just to see people and uh, have contact for business and all, all kind of things, or just to see, or just to go and watch the latest fashion or the latest uh, speaking in tongues, or the latest just go there and shout and show off their wristwatches and their shoes and come back. Some people, have, majority have different kind of interior motives. Some people just go there just to receive the miracle. The miracle for their business and, and that's all they want. They need to live as a Christian is, is, is totally, it's totally not their business. May God help us in the name of Jesus. The word of God said that hundreds of thousands left the children, left the land of Egypt. But it's only two out of hundreds of thousands. Are faithful to the teaching, to the revelation, to all those activities that was done on the Masonite and the Ten Commandments. Only two took all those things serious. Are you among those two? Or are you among the three Hebrew men out of all the hundreds of thousands again in the land of Babylon? Only three of them stood up. I said, no, you're not going to bow down. Are you among those three? Or are you, are you among the millions or hundreds of thousands that say they believe God, they know God? Or us? It's just in their lips. May knowing God not end on your lips. May He end, hallelujah, 
from the depth of your heart in the name of Jesus. And I pray that God will help us in the name of Jesus. Mm. Amen and amen. Before we continue, I just want all this night in the name of Jesus about all this little exhortation I have done now, you know, to reflect on it and cover yourself in the blood of Jesus. Some of those areas that the Lord is talking to you now, just as in you, be to soak your spirit, soul, and body in the blood of Jesus. Soak it in the blood of Jesus. Mara, tired, those anxiety, those your failure in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Those areas in your life that you've been struggling, soak in the blood of Jesus. Tell the Lord Jesus Christ, I need your help. Holy Spirit, I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. In the name of Jesus, to be overcomer. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help me, Lord Jesus. Ma san de rebo ro yereba yerebo shiya. Nini ma san de rebo ro yereba zan de rebo ro kiya. Nini ma san de rebo ro yereba shada gaya de rebo shiya. Nini ma san de Holy Spirit, oh Lord, help us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus over everything, my spiritual body, everything that concerns me, the blood, the blood, the blood, my mind, my soul. In the name of Jesus, ma san de rebo ro yereba. I soak my patient level, Lord Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. I soak my endurance level in the blood of Jesus. I soak my love level in the blood of Jesus. Master, I decree, O Lord Jesus, Father, Lord Jesus, for increase, O Lord, in my patient level. Increase, O Lord, in my love level. Increase, O Lord Jesus, in my tolerance level. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In my kindness level. In the name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. In the name of your Father, help me, help me, O Lord. Help me, O Lord Jesus. Help me, O Lord. Let every forces and every wicked altar be set against my spiritual life in the name of Jesus. Might be demolished in the name of Jesus. I demolish you by the power and the blood of Jesus. I demolish you by the power and the blood of Jesus. I demolish you by the power and the blood of Jesus. Maraca ribo so the ribo shia. Nene masa ne riba rai de ke boshi. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Marataya, let the blood that was shed upon the cross of Calvary not be in vain. For the Lord Jesus, even if it's out of billions that you are looking for three, you are looking for two, you are looking for one, Father, may I be that one, may I be among that three, may I be among that few, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, help me, Lord, 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 by your Spirit. In the name of Jesus, if you are looking for Job in our time, if you are looking for, for David in our time, may I be that Job, may I be that David, may I be that one who will stand up, may I be that Elijah, may I be that Elisha, in the name of Jesus, may I be that Paul, may I be that Peter, in the, may I be that Stephen, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Maraka Iriboshi Kiriboshia, Braka Iriboshi Kiribara Iriboshia, Minimasa Kiribo wrote it here. In the name of Jesus, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Masata Iribara. I want us to pray against multiple attack from the pit of hell. Multiple attack. Multiple attack. Multiple attack. Hallelujah. Sometimes when the enemy discover that you are a tough, you that that you meant what you think, that you meant what you are confessing, hmm. it comes in various different. Sometimes you know, so you know, you know, some people have a kind of weak point. The when the enemy discovered the weak point and try that weak point is not getting through. Try that weak point is not getting through. The one he will do is this. He will continue on that your weak point. Then now look other area. Now look at your history. <laughs> the area that you have failed before. They will now start revisiting those things and now give you a multiple attack to make sure at least if this one they know what that one will work. And then most of our uh, Christian brothers and sisters, then such kind of situation. There is when you see a very strong man of God or someone who has been standing you know, faithfully. Now get into a situation and say, I want to commit suicide, or even go ahead and commit suicide. So we say, I'm not doing it anymore. Because of what? Multiple attack. Let pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of every evil altar that has been erected against my spiritual life, 
the blood of Jesus against you. I said you are blessed in the name of I decree in the frustration upon frustration. In the name of Jesus, I put on the wind like the ego. I put on the wind like the ego. In the name, I begin to swerve over all the multiple attack, over all the marata every wicked activities against my life. In the name of Jesus, I swear over them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, I fly over over all of them. In the name of Jesus, marata irebo. The blood of Jesus against every multiple attack, every multiple enemy, every multiple evil program against my spiritual body. The blood of Jesus against you. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name, O Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen. Before we go on to our our confession tonight, I just want us to lift up the body of Christ into the hands of the Lord. Hallelujah. Those who follow us on social media very well, this time can see it. Uh, there are, there are a lot of revival, a lot of revival, revival that is going all that like going uh, sweeping across the world. Even though a lot of uh, the the evil and the wickedness and the earthquake and all those mm, seems to drown the voice of revival. There's something is going. You know the enemy is very crafty. He doesn't want you to see the fire because he know it's contagious. Hallelujah. Braga basa tayeboshlia. You know it's contagious and therefore he's doing everything to resist the move of Christ all over the world that is going on. Jesus, the Lord is moving. <laughs> the Lord is moving. A lot of other religions, they are turning in mass to, the, to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Even though what is happening in Israel now, they are blaming the Lord. I don't even know what is happening. They say they want to hear Jesus Christ again. And they hear Jesus Christ. They will do what? They will send them into prison. They, they forgot something. You know, people don't they don't they don't really think. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's a quiet breakthrough that is going on there. That, that people don't even really understand. <laughs> Hallelujah. A breakthrough that's going on. That is exactly the same kind of thing that was happening in the time of uh, uh, Art of Apostle. The more they tried to shut up the, the Jesus Christ, the more he's spreading like wildfire. And the more the Lord, you know, Makai the boss said it. The more the law is causing an earthquake of revival all, all around. Like the revival now that is moving, it affected Israel too. But the shaking now is turning the enemy to start raising up his ugly head. That he is crushed in the name of Jesus. He cannot, there's no way he can stop fire. There's no way he cannot stop fire. The whole of the countries in you know, this world that they are seriously against Christianity. If you hear what is happening in their in their in the cells, some of the cells are having almost you know tens, tens of thousands gathering on that ground that the government doesn't know. <laughs> and and they are receiving the Bible and translating the Bible, doing so much great work on that ground. May God help us in the name. There's no way you can stop the truth. There are no way you can stop the truth. You can try everything, you can try, but you cannot stop the truth. Hallelujah. Let us begin to pray in the name of Jesus. For our brothers and sisters in the name of Jesus. Such are those the Lord has that 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 that, 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 is, that is touching in this end time. In the name of Jesus. Let us use this opportunity to pray for more grace in the name of Jesus. The Lord should protect them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the fire continue to burn in the name of Jesus. And the, let, let the Lord in the name of Jesus help. <clears throat> in the name of Jesus, the, 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 uh, there are those cells and those um, revival that is going on in the name of to be focused in the every power of destruction, every power of destruction, every power of destruction. 
the blood of Jesus is against them. In the name of God, we pull down every gate of hell, every program, every matter in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus, the more mm, the, those who are opposing Jesus Christ are opposing. Father Lord Jesus, may always make a way because the word of God says, I will make a way where there is no way. <laughs> That means the way that he don't even think that it exists. Because of the, the works of the enemy, the law makes way. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, make a way, Lord. Open the eyes, of Lord. In the name of Jesus. For those that enemy want to use that this very message to make them to become sorrowful, to make them to become worried. My son, I pull them out from that, out from that worry. We pull them out of that, uh, that, that constant, in the name of that constant soul, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Friend, let them begin to burn, like oh Lord Jesus Paul, like Saul, in the Bible, in the name of Jesus. Like Peter, like the Stephen, in the name of Jesus. Like Barnabas, in the name of Jesus. Increase them, increase them, oh Lord Jesus. More signs and wonders, oh Lord. Do Thanks, O Lord Jesus, man, in which O Lord Jesus, no one can contend. In the name of Jesus, need there be more signs and wonders. Need there be more miracles. In the name of Jesus, In the name of that very set of people, or that very person, or that person who are raising up that negative mass of vibes against Christianity. For the Lord Jesus, to use this very Christianity that is rejecting, in the name of Jesus, to bring healing to that long affliction in their life in the name of Jesus not to shut up that mouth that tried to oppose Christ in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Master, let your, show them your mercy show them your love show them oh Lord, who you truly are in the name of Jesus and expose their ignorance to them in the name of Jesus so that they can kneel as a word self and every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord let it be to happen in the life of these ones in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My son, the river, for, for the men and the women of God and their family. In the name of they will stand, they will stand, they will stand in this end time. In the name of Jesus. Strengthen them, O Lord. In the name of those that enemy is trying to pull down to backslide, bringing questions and bringing a lot of uh, issues. Father Lord, we ask, Lord Jesus, more strength, Lord Jesus, master over those issues, wisdom, knowledge, understanding over those issues. In the name of, out of these trials, Lord, let them come out as gold. Let them turn out to become more danger to the kingdom of darkness. Marara is workers in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, tonight, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Master, for the Lord, build your church, Lord. Let no gate of hell prevail against your church. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord Jesus, this hour. We give you praise, though. We give you praise. We give you praise. No one like you, no one can do the things you do. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your loving kindness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in great passions. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Master, he leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, even though I walk through the valleys of shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, and they comfort me. Mazan and more royalty. You prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies. We are not my hair with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Deliver me from my enemies, O oh my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who walk evil. And save me from the blood testament. In the name of deliver us, O Lord Jesus, from our enemies, O oh our God. Protect us from those who rise up against us. And deliver us from those who walk evil. Save us from blood testament. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Marka pa irebo 
Rebo Rea, the Nemas and the Rebo Rea, the Vashe, the Bastia, in the name of Jesus. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High shall abide on the shadow of the Almighty. And we say to the Lord, our refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler, in the name of Jesus. Mother, from the deadly pestilence, he will cover you with his pinion, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a sheet and a buckler. You will not fear the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Mm, you will not fear the person that's talking in darkness. You will not fear the destruction that waste at no day. A thousand may fall at your side. Massa ni mo roidia. Ni ni ma And ten thousand at your right time, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your very place, the most high, who is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you. In the name of Jesus, no plague will come near your tent. For he will command his angel concerning you to guide you in all your ways. On their head they will bear you up. Lest you strike your foot against the stone, you will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he who falls to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him. Amen. I will honor him. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. And with long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. So shall he be. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. Blessed be your holy name, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus. Your name is higher above every other name. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. He is my steadfast love and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer. My shield in whom I take refuge, who subdues people under me. O oh Lord, what is a man that you regard him, or a son of man that you think of him? Man is like a breath, his days like a passing shadow. Burn your heavens, O oh Lord, and come down. Touch the mouth of so the smoke. Flat forth the lightning and scatter them. Send out your arrow and root them. Stretch out your hand from on high. Rescue me and deliver me from many waters and from from the hands of foreigners whose mouth whose mouth speaks lies and whose right hand is right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song to you, O God. Upon a ten string harp, I will pray to you. Who give victory to kings? Who rescue David, a servant from a cruel sword? Rescue me and deliver me from hands of the foreigners whose mouth speaks lies, whose right hand is right hand of falsehood. May our son in their youth be like plant full grown, our daughters like corner pillar, call for a structure of a palace. May our glory be full, providing all kinds of produce. May our sheep bring four thousands and ten thousand in our field. In the name of Jesus, may our cattle be heavy with young, suffering no mishap or failure. May there be no cry of distress in our streets. Blessed are the people to whom so blessing fall. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Ma Sanaria. I want us to repeat this word with me. Say, Hallelujah. I am blessed because God is my Lord. In the name of Jesus. I am blessed because God is my Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This confession is out of a revelation that I just got now as I'm just praying. In the name of Jesus. I am blessed because God is my Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. What is the revelation? Hallelujah. As I just finishing this, I just saw like a set of people who are just like downcast. I have no one. No one can stand for me. No one can defend me. I am vulnerable to attack of everyone. 
I had no man. I had no one. Ma Sandaria, the Lord is telling you once again that is your Lord. Fear not. He truly cares for you. He cares for me. Hallelujah. He cares. He cares. Hallelujah. He cares. Hallelujah. He cares. Are you wandering on the track on the on the on the, on the waterless pit? Are you wandering on a trackless, you know, beat, a, a kind of a isolate, isolated isolation? Jesus cares for you. Jesus cares for you. Probably you're one of those who just gave their life to Jesus Christ. In a family where the Asians they have been worshipping probably you know in other gods they have been seriously in another religion the family you are coming from you have that trace of priesthood they know your family as you know they always they are they're always priests of the particular region you belong to. That means a very strong and conch foundation. And now you now start talking about the Jesus. You, you are now like outcasts. You have no body. All the people that surrounded you when you were growing up is still from the same religion. And now you are just like in a place where you have nobody to go to. You have nobody to run to. You may be a woman, you may be a man. You have nobody to run to. If you try to explain to this uncle, they are telling you off. Try to explain to this person, they are telling you off. You go even go to a church, and the church, the pastor start seeing you obey their parents, go back to them. But it's totally different from what the Lord is telling you. It's totally different from what the Spirit of God in you having convinced you to do. You start wondering, what should I do? The Lord is your Lord. Hallelujah. Remember the song that we sang when we are starting? Cast your burden to him. Tell him your trouble. Stop telling this person. Now, the people you thought that you would have gotten help from, unfortunately, they have failed you. As some of you who are ladies, the people that try to now use your vulnerability to now assault you, and you were able to escape. Now you start wondering, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? What the Lord is telling you this moment, you have all you need with you, which is the Bible. Read it. Ask for more of His Spirit in the name of Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord begin to guide you and begin to lead you aright. You begin to make the right decision. The Spirit of the Lord begin to guide you, lead you to the right place that you will receive the help you need. You show the basic help you need is already in the Word of God. The only thing you just need with all those are just to confirmation at least to, to, to have that feeling that you have someone who you can trust or who the Lord can use, just like Ananias. And the God used Ananias for and they are for Saul. And someone God can use as Ananias to make the road more easy, at least a bit more easy for you. In the name of don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. You have taken the right step. You have taken the right decision. And I pray in the name of for grace of God. In the name of Jesus. If you dare listen to me tonight, I decree, I declare. Father Lord Jesus, let your mercy be released or be revealed, oh Lord Jesus, to these ones in the name of you. Let there be a revelational encounter in the name of Jesus that will strengthen their confidence in you. In the name of you. Your mercy, Lord. Whatever. Mm, the enemy have built around them to, to resist or to restrain the counter that you're trying to give to them by the power in the blood of Jesus. I array the spiritual wickedness around that vicinity in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I subdue the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus. Let there be light in the name of Jesus. Rock up, let there be light, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let there be light in the name of Jesus. 
and not every wicked spirit that have been resisting what you want to do, the last of those fellows, be arrested in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. So shall it be. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we thank you. March is almost ended already. Just a few more days, we are done with March. Wow. The year is almost gone. God help us in Jesus' name. And now we're going to go straight to the Word of God. We have Bible reading, the book of um, Psalm 11, from verse 1 to end. We will play it, and uh, after that, we go to Mark chapter. Take Mark chapter 5. I think there was a mission or something. We're going to read two chapters. Or three, the book of Mark, chapter five, six, seven. Then Mark, then Psalm, chapter eleven. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. There's a power in reading the Word of God. There's a power in reading the Word of God. Hallelujah. Let's not take it for granted. It may look as if you are joking here. It's, it's not a joke. There's a power in reading the Word of God. And one of the greatest revival that happened in the book of Acts. The Bible says when they have finished reading the word of God. Hallelujah. The spirit of, of understanding descended. Then those who do not understand begin to understand. And the Lord empowered the apostles. They begin to explain to those who don't Then after that there was illumination that covered that city. The people as they went the next day, the whole town was empty. Because people now understand the word. And then the government begin to fight the Christians again. And they begin to fight the Christians. They, they begin to spread all over the world. Hallelujah. You see, God. God. The enemy is just fighting blind, 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 blind battle. Oh, God. My son, there is. Enemy fighting blind battle. Tell them to leave them alone. They will start pursuing them. And they're pursuing them. They don't know that, that increase, that surge. That multiplication that just came to the to the to the body of Christ at that time is for is for it to send them all over the world. Persecution was intense. They, they scattered everywhere. They're scattering with the lights that they are carrying. They go to those places, start igniting the light of Christ everywhere, all over Africa, all over, all over. Satan doesn't know God was using him <laughs> for his own work. And you say, yes, we've done it. Just as it's doing to you and me. Hallelujah. It's all the fight and all the battle. That is what has brought us to this place. Hallelujah. Because he's not wise. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God strengthen you and strengthen me. Strengthen us. That to use that opportunity the Lord has opened to you and me. And some of us, when God opened those opportunities, we start complaining, complaining and complaining. We will not see the light from that trouble. For the Lord expect that trial, that trouble to make you to become what, like gold. And not the trouble to make you to be like wood and burn away. May God help us in Jesus' name. And I pray in the name of Jesus, no matter whatever wickedness has been unleashed over your life, in the name of Jesus, you become overcomer in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, tonight. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, open our eyes of understanding. Our spiritual eyes, O oh Lord Jesus. Let this let there be understanding. Let there be illumination, O oh Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. After all, your name alone be glorified. And we will draw closer and closer. In the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself tonight more. Through your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Psalms 11. Psalm 11, for one to end. To the choir master of David. In the Lord I take refuge. How can you say to my soul, flee like a bird to your mountain? For behold, the wicked bend the bow. They have fitted their arrow to the string. 
to shoot in the dark at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes see, his eyelids... When did... If you listen to this, let me say it very well. When the foundation is destroyed, the Lord is in his holy temple. That means we seek him, we pray more. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ overcome, overcame without prayers. And he expects you and me to pray. And yeah, through prayer, through prayer, through prayer, the destroyed foundation will be restored in the name of Jesus. The Lord is in his holy temple. If his foundation is destroyed, what does uh, the righteous do? The next night the next he says, and the Lord is in his holy temple. What do you mean? That we should seek him. If you seek him, because he's our foundation, he's our true foundation. And every foundation that is not of him must be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every foundation that is not of God in our life must be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We decree the foundation that is in the name of Jesus Christ, that is in the blood of the Lamb that was shed upon the cross of Calvary, that is the name hallelujah, of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. A foundation that is rated in that name can never be destroyed. It can only face you know trials, but it can never be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. If the foundation are destroyed, the Lord is his holy temple. Then we seek him. Hallelujah. And we're definitely going to find him. And the government will have a new foundation that is based on what on truth, not foundation on the falsehood and lies and deception. Hallelujah. But the foundation that is in the, uh, the, the foundation the, of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The foundation that is built on Mount Zion. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. Let's continue this word. I see. His eyelids test the children of man. The Lord tests in heaven. His eyes see. His eyelids test the children of man. The Lord tests the righteous, but his soul hates the wicked and the one who loves violence. Let him rain coals on the wicked. Fire and sulfur and a scorching wind shall be the portion of their cup. Amen. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteous deeds. The upright shall behold his face. Amen. The upright shall behold his face. And the Lord love righteous did. May our hand in the heavenly evil in our hands we destroy in the name of Jesus. In the name of Father Lord, remove every evil, every wickedness in our hand. And anymore, let our hand be a blessed hand. My brother, if God you was anything we lay our hands upon, how we must what succeed in the name of Jesus. As we Accept and as we need to operate in the path of holiness and righteousness in the name of the Mark chapter 5, 6, and 7. And it's going to be a long read, probably up to 10 minutes or thereabout. But God help us in Jesus' name. Let us be attentive. Open our eyes, Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Every dullness of the Spirit, the blood of just against you. And if we open our spiritual eyes and spiritual ears, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Chapter 5 They came to the other side of the sea, to the country of the Gerasenes. And when Jesus had stepped out of the boat, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. He lived among the tombs, and no one could bind him any more, not even with a chain, for he had often been bound with shackles and chains, but he wrenched the chains apart, and he broke the shackles in pieces. No one had the strength to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and on the mountains, he was always crying out and cutting himself with stones. And when he saw Jesus from afar, he ran and fell down before him. And crying out with a loud voice, he said, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. For he was saying to him, Come out of the man, you unclean spirit. And Jesus asked him, What is your name? He replied, 
My name is Legion, for we are many. And he begged him earnestly not to send them out of the country. Now a great herd of pigs was feeding there on the hillside, and they begged him, saying, Send us to the pigs, let us enter them. So he gave them permission, and the unclean spirits came out and entered the pigs, and the herd, numbering about two thousand, rushed down the steep bank into the sea and drowned in the sea. The herdsmen fled and told it in the city and in the country, and people came to see what it was that had happened. And they came to Jesus and saw the demon-possessed man, the one who had had the legion, sitting there, clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. And those who had seen it described to them what had happened to the demon-possessed man and to the pigs. And they began to beg Jesus to depart from their region. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed with demons begged him that he might be with him. And he did not permit him, but said to him, Go home to your friends and tell them how much the Lord has done for you, and how he has had mercy on you. And he went away and began to proclaim in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him, and everyone marveled. And when Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a great crowd gathered about him, and he was beside the sea. Then came one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name, and seeing him, he fell at his feet and implored him earnestly, saying, My little daughter is at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her, so that she may be made well and live. And he went with him. And a great crowd followed him and thronged about him. And there was a woman who had had a discharge of blood for twelve years, and who had suffered much under many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was no better, but rather grew worse. She had heard the reports about Jesus, and came up behind him in the crowd, and touched his garment. For she said, If I touch even his garments, I will be made well. And immediately the flow of blood dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of her disease. And Jesus, perceiving in himself that power had gone out from him, immediately turned about in the crowd and said, Who touched my garments? And his disciples said to him, You see the crowd pressing around you, and yet you say, Who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. But the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came in fear and trembling and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace, and be healed of your disease. While he was still speaking, there came from the ruler's house some who said, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? But overhearing what they said, Jesus said to the ruler of the synagogue, Do not fear, only believe. And he allowed no one to follow him except Peter and James, and John the brother of James. They came to the house of the ruler of the synagogue, and Jesus saw a commotion people weeping and wailing loudly. And when he had entered, he said to them, Why are you making a commotion and weeping? The child is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him. But he put them all outside and took the child's father and mother and those who were with him and went in where the child was. Taking her by the hand, he said to her, Talitha kumi, which means, Little girl, I say to you, Arise. And immediately the girl got up and began walking, for she was twelve years of age, and they were immediately overcome with amazement. And he strictly charged them that no one should know this, and told them to give her something to eat. Chapter 6 He went away from there and came to his hometown, and his disciples followed him. And on the Sabbath he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished, saying, Where did this man get these things? What is the wisdom given to him? How are such mighty works done by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary and brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. And Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his hometown, and among his relatives, and in his own household. And he could do no mighty work there, except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief. 
and he went about among the villages teaching. And he called the twelve and began to send them out two by two, and gave them authority over the unclean spirits. He charged them to take nothing for their journey except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in their belts, but to wear sandals and not put on two tunics. And he said to them, Whenever you enter a house, stay there until you depart from there. And if any place will not receive you and they will not listen to you, when you leave, shake off the dust that is on your feet as a testimony against them. So they went out and proclaimed that people should repent. And they cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and healed them. King Herod heard of it, for Jesus' name had become known. Some said, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead. That is why these miraculous powers are at work in him. But others said, He is Elijah. And others said, He is a prophet like one of the prophets of old. But when Herod heard of it, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised. For it was Herod who had sent and seized John and bound him in prison for the sake of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because he had married her. For John had been saying to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. And Herodias had a grudge against him and wanted to put him to death. But she could not, for Herod feared John, knowing that he was a righteous and holy man, and he kept him safe. When he heard him, he was greatly perplexed, and yet he heard him gladly. But an opportunity came when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his nobles and military commanders and the leading men of Galilee. For when Herodias' daughter came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his guests. And the king said to the girl, Ask me for whatever you wish, and I will give it to you. And he vowed to her, Whatever you ask me, I will give you, up to half of my kingdom. And she went out and said to her mother, For what should I ask? And she said, The head of John the Baptist. And she came in immediately with haste to the king and asked, saying, I want you to give me at once the head of John the Baptist on a platter. And the king was exceedingly sorry, but because of his oaths and his guests, he did not want to break his word to her. And immediately the king sent an executioner with orders to bring John's head. He went and beheaded him in the prison, and brought his head on a platter, and gave it to the girl, and the girl gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard of it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The apostles returned to Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. And he said to them, Come away by yourselves to a desolate place, and rest a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a desolate place by themselves. Now many saw them going and recognized them, and they ran there on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them. When he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion on them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. And when it grew late, his disciples came to him and said, This is a desolate place, and the hour is now late. Send them away to go into the surrounding countryside and villages and buy themselves something to eat. But he answered them, You give them something to eat. And they said to him, Shall we go and buy two hundred denarii worth of bread and give it to them to eat? And he said to them, How many loaves do you have? Go and see. And when they had found out, they said, Five and two fish. Then he commanded them all to sit down in groups on the green grass. So they sat down in groups, by hundreds and by fifties. And taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and said a blessing, and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples to set before the people. And he divided the two fish among them all. And they all ate and were satisfied. And they took up twelve baskets full of broken pieces and of the fish. And those who ate the loaves were five thousand men. Immediately he made his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side, to Bethsaida, while he dismissed the crowd. And after he had taken leave of them, he went up on the mountain to pray. And when evening came, the boat was out on the sea, and he was alone on the land. And he saw that they were making headway painfully, for the wind was against them. And about the fourth watch of the night he came to them, walking on the sea. He meant to pass by them, but when they saw him walking on the sea, they thought it was a ghost, and cried out, 
for they all saw him and were terrified. But immediately he spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. And he got into the boat with them, and the wind ceased. And they were utterly astounded, for they did not understand about the loaves, but their hearts were hardened. When they had crossed over, they came to land at Gennesaret and moored to the shore. And when they got out of the boat, the people immediately recognized him and ran about the whole region and began to bring the sick people on their beds to wherever they heard he was. And wherever he came, in villages, cities, or countryside, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and implored him that they might touch even the fringe of his garment. And as many as touched it were made well. Amen. Chapter 7 Now when the Pharisees gathered to him with some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem, they saw that some of his disciples ate with hands that were defiled, that is, unwashed. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they wash their hands properly, holding to the tradition of the elders. And when they come from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they wash. And there are many other traditions that they observe, such as the washing of cups and pots and copper vessels and dining couches. And the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, Why do your disciples not walk according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? And he said to them, Well did Isaiah prophesy of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. You leave the commandment of God and hold to the tradition of men. And he said to them, You have a fine way of rejecting the commandment of God in order to establish your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother. And whoever reviles father or mother must surely die. But you say, If a man tells his father or his mother, Whatever you would have gained from me is Corban, that is, given to God, then you no longer permit him to do anything for his father or mother, thus making void the word of God by your tradition that you have handed down, and many such things you do. And he called the people to him again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside a person that by going into him can defile him, but the things that come out of a person are what defile him. And when he had entered the house and left the people, his disciples asked him about the parable. And he said to them, Then are you also without understanding? Do you not see that whatever goes into a person from outside cannot defile him, since it enters not his heart, but his stomach, and is expelled? Thus he declared all foods clean. And he said, What comes out of a person is what defiles him. For from within, out of the heart of man, come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, coveting, wickedness, deceit, sensuality, envy, slander, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within, and they defile a person. And from there he arose and went away to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And he entered a house and did not want anyone to know, yet he could not be hidden. But immediately a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him and came and fell down at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile, a Syrophoenician by birth, and she begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter. And he said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, Yes, Lord. Yet even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. And he said to her, For this statement you may go your way. The demon has left your daughter. And she went home and found the child lying in bed, and the demon gone. Amen. Then he returned from the region of Tyre and went through Sidon to the Sea of Galilee in the region of the Decapolis. And they brought to him a man who was deaf and had a speech impediment. And they begged him to lay his hand on him. And taking him aside from the crowd privately, he put his fingers into his ears, and after spitting, touched his tongue. And looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And his ears were opened, his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. 
Amen. And Jesus charged them to tell no one. Mm -hmm. But the more he charged them, the more zealously they proclaimed it. <laughs> and they were astonished beyond measure, saying, He has done all things well. He even makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the Lord Jesus Christ for you. Earlier, the things he has done. You know, from the chapter 5, let's just, just go through. Hallelujah. Jesus, we give you praise tonight. Hallelujah. <clears throat> So Jesus Christ healed the demon, the demon, hallelujah, the man who was with the demon. And I pray in the name of Jesus, anyone with anyone a demon is tormenting the blood of Jesus against that evil spirit. Whatever door that you have been opened in the name of ask for mercy of God. In the name of you, let those doors be shut. You demon, the blood of Jesus against you. Tell your Lord and leave that body in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say he healed the woman, the daughter. Hallelujah. This very scripture, the woman, the, the, the daughter was sick. And in the process of Jesus Christ going to see the in the process, you know, he healed the Lord Jesus Christ, he healed the woman of issues of blood. And then I pray in the name of Jesus. Anyone who is suffering from issues of blood or uncontrollable bleeding, probably been to doctor, you've been to various try everything you can, all the suggestion and all the way other people have used to stop this. Unfortunately, it's not working for you in the name of whatever door that was open to allow that affliction, to allow that demonic operation. We ask God for mercy, Lord. Father Lord, mercy, Lord, we pray in the name of you. Mercy, we pray. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. In the name of let there be healing. Upon your daughters, upon your sons, those who are going through such kind of issues, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sometimes, you know, the, this blood thing, sometimes it happens because we are ignorant. The enemy has decided to distract us from paying attention to our own body. I'm saying to, it's one of those things that have happened to me. I'm talking out of experience. Sometimes you can be so busy with other things, you forget about to say, you don't even pay attention to your body. In the process, you, you start lacking. For example, you know, I have studied, I have tried to take note of my body. Sometimes if I start, some strange things are happening, I know what, okay, my body is lacking this food. I'm lacking calcium, I'm lacking this, I'm lacking this. I try to boost up. And when I start eating those good food or eating healthy again, those things will be gone. But some people, they are totally ignorant of such kind of idea. And they will keep praying and praying and praying. Nothing is happening because they are totally ignorant. The enemy have blocked their understanding to understand their, their, their body. May God, those who have such kind of spell that enemy want to destroy them due to ignorance, we lift that spell from their life in the name of God. Be healed in the name of Jesus. And those who are on that money uh, 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 in, your, in, your, in your oppression, you demon the blood of just against you. Buy that cast your heart in the name of Jesus. Be healed from the crown of your head to the of your feet in the name of Jesus. And then whoever, you know, probably Satan has finally killed something in your life or killed someone that you just, you know, you will command that dead. Let there be life in the name of Jesus. In the name of, let there be life of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Life in the name of Jesus. Any organ or any organ in your body that is dead. We decree life, 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 life in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So shall it be in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord said, you know, we should value the word of God. If we, we should value ourselves. Hallelujah. We should value ourselves. Hallelujah. Once someone is doing something, probably you don't really understand or you don't, you just probably, the best thing to do Probably you, you, if you don't like, you just disconnect. Then if you, then, then if you can have some patience, the person, the Lord can reveal to you. Because sometimes some men and women of God, they do things out of revelation. Out of revelation. But that revelation has to be in accordance with love, through love. Not through, you know, self-ambition. Not to, you know, competition. Hallelujah. Then when a man of God is doing some you know, prophetic activity, you may not understand how they, but in the process, you check it properly. 
the one your spirit is agree ag in agreement with it from is your spirit is in agreement with it you just leave them alone to continue their whatever then if they are going away from holiness and righteousness from away from love you pray for them that god should help them that god should you know you know deliver them from any kind of strange spirit that have come into their life in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Just like what you know, uh, Paul, Paul and Peter did using their handkerchief, I know, to heal the sick and all those stuff. Yes, that is possible, hallelujah. You know, sometimes God can ask someone to do such kind of a thing, uh, but if some people begin to perform magic, perform magic, you know, perform and when, I, when I say magic, um, perform some, some some indecent activities they have to you know they don't respect the ladies they don't respect men you hold them anyhow you touch them anyhow you can ask them to be naked or in all the kind of thing that is not it's totally not of god those ones you, total, you have to condemn them if you have opportunity when the pastor finish whatever you pray either if god give you the bonus to go and meet them and, and tell them that what they're doing is not good then you go and do it after you leave them and the Lord will help them to, to deliver them. But if they continue, just keep praying. And keep praying. And the Lord will open their eyes in the name of Jesus. Because sometimes some people get into some a level of uh, you know, a spiritual activity that the demons will take totally full control. Messing up their brain. They don't even know what they are doing anymore. God have mercy in the name of Jesus. But some people telling you that uh, 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 if you are if you are if you are not pregnant, come that the, that that the Lord has given me a holy. If I'm the one, if I if I if I lay with you, a person will tell you that if I lay with you, that you become pregnant, that the Lord have anointed me, that that He have anointed me to make sure that anyone who is not this come to this ministry, that they're gonna you know get pregnant. That totally from pit of hell. But unfortunately, a lot of people have been deceived by that kind of lies and falsehood. They will use the Bible and use everything to quote and tell you and even vibrate and tell you, you know, you know, decorate it properly. That you you will say, you know, you, you believe what they are saying. With, with, with demonic boldness. May God help us in the name of Let's be careful in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. That's totally no, not of God. That's not, not, not of God. That is not of God at all. May God help us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You know, Jesus Christ was not recognized. And, but if you look at the reason why they did not they, 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 they did not they did not receive him is it's just out of envy, out of jealousy. As far as our our decision regarding to men of God is not out of jealousy and envy. That it will be fine. But if it's out of jealousy and envy, or to pull somebody down, or to just discredit them for no reason, that is not of God. That is from such kind of activities in the name of Jesus. Uh, and the process you can see, we of God said that because of their activities against Jesus Christ, they did not receive much. Jesus was not able to do signs and wonders in, in, their, in their own environment. That means there are a lot of sick, sick people who did not receive their healing. Whereas they're supposed to have received, whereas the Gentiles believe in Jesus Christ. Uh, they, then they receive more. So many healings and deliverance and so many great things the Lord did. In uh, among the Gentiles than his own people. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you have a brother or sister or someone in your family that the Lord has chosen, he needs your help, he needs your assistance. Hallelujah. But if you cannot, you know, help, just stay on your own still. Hallelujah. But it's better you 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 monitor as far as the person is not, you know. You know, it's not. I mean, and whatever he's doing is is in the line of the gospel, is a line of the truth, line of righteousness and holiness. Try to assist. You could it mean that Jesus Christ was assisted by his own people? Imagine, you know, probably out of there would have would have come great and and great and great and great men too, who will be able to stand 
Hallelujah for him. Not only sign for him. And again, people will have been able to receive their healing. A lot of greater things would have happened in his own hometown. But unfortunately, they decided to be to remain poor. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's very, very good when someone when, when the light has come. It doesn't matter whoever it might be, you know, in your family. You know, just see that light and support that light. In the process, the Lord begins to do greater things in that family. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. May we not be like, you know, like a, like Jacob and brothers. That after everything, they start looking for a way to not, you know, recognize themselves. Because of jealousy, because of envy. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Whereas you can see, you know, what is his name again? God help us here. Hallelujah. Aaron and his brother, how they were able to work together. That's what, how it's supposed to be. Even though, even though, even, even though the Lord did not call Aaron, the Moses that called Aaron. They can see how they, they work together. Even though they have the ups and downs, but they still work together. Hallelujah. Aaron still you know, respects and obey his younger brother. Hallelujah. There's such kind of humility and an and, and agreement be found in our, in, our, in our own life and in our own families in the name of you. Because in the end, it will end up, hallelujah, it, it, it will bring a lot of good things to us personally, also in the name of Jesus. Then the next scripture here, and it says, Jesus sent out the 12, the 12 apostles in two to go and preach. We receive that spirit, that, that spirit of great commission to go out there in the name of Jesus, the spirit of evangelism, the spirit of evangelism in the name of Jesus. That anywhere we, we, we are, and the reason why God, the Lord has called you, the reason why you have known the Lord Jesus Christ, is 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 the visit thing is for you to you know, you know witness testify what he has done for you it doesn't expect you to do much you know in the process of testifying the thing the goodness and the mercy of god towards your life if you're actually genuine then the process the lord will begin to put words in your mouth how because actually he wants you to rely on him because the experience you used to heal, the experience you used to believe, and the experience you used to preach so, to someone else, and the person give their life to Jesus Christ, you cannot use the same procedure unless the Holy Spirit has direct you for another person. Because we women be from different backgrounds, different experience, different brought up, different situations and issues that we go through. And therefore, the one who comes from a wealthy family, that you have a bit idea of what is what is happening in his life and you speak to him and he gave his life if you use the same process to somebody who's come from a very poor family or someone who just you know that just got saved from from you know from some horrible issue or from war war torn zone it might it, it may not work there is why we should depend on the holy spirit and there is reason why we should walk earlier in the spirit as you walk in the spirit, depend on the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God will always, you know, from deep down, hallelujah, reveal mysterious things that you don't even know. You don't even, sometimes you'll be talking, you think that you are just, what am I actually saying? Whereas right, that foolish thing that is coming out of your mouth is a great mystery that is unveiling the wickedness of the wicked that is over someone's life. But to you is rubbish. But to that person is like a breakthrough. Hallelujah. That is the reason why we should depend on the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit asks you to do some funny things that you never even you know, imagined before in your life. And, and it will happen. Hallelujah. And I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. That more of Him in our life, more of the Holy Spirit, more of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We receive that call. For every way we have disobeyed. Every way we have opened the door for the enemy to attack how they are the fire of evangelism in the name of Father, we ask the Lord Jesus right now, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, that every opportunity we have, any place we see ourselves, in the name of we, we, we take it to be that how we are, that you have given us life to, to give life 
to that community, to that person, to that in the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord Jesus. Every power of distraction, every power of confusion, the blood of Jesus is against you. In the name of Jesus. Every power that doesn't want the captive to be set free. Every power that doesn't want the broken hearted to be amended. Every power that doesn't want the, 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 the devastation of many generations, my son and I to be rebuilt. In the name of the blood of Jesus against those wicked spirits, sponsoring those kind of wicked activities. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, this hour. In the name of the more of your strength, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. The John Baptist died because of the wickedness of the wicked. Anyone that is monitoring you for death, anyone that is monitoring you for destruction, then that is so that I'm monitoring the name of Jesus. Go back to them. They refuse to repent. In the name of I refuse and I declare, I declare my, my viewers and my brothers, my sisters, my uh, the men and the women of God in the name of Jesus. We will refuse to accept any wickedness being released against us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We destroy every arrow. We destroy every tongue. We destroy every man, impression, every evil gathering against us. Every wicked author, ministering failure, ministering wickedness against our lives. In the name of the blood of Jesus against you. We declare, we declare the will and the purpose of God. In the name of your most stand in our life. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I will pray for the spirit of, of, of anger to be uprooted in the name of you. Let the spirit of patience, the spirit of endurance, spirit of patience and endurance in the name of take over in the name of Jesus. Could it be that uh, John the Baptist is a size patient and endurance? This actual thing that happened to him would have happened. Um, he would, would have been able to have because, you know, endurance and patience give us clarity. Open our eyes, open our design, help our designing ability. How they have to be sharpened. Hallelujah. Because then we are not, you know, jumping into issues out of anger. We are not releasing words out of our mouth out of anger. May God help us in the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus that all those who are in such kind of situation, the Lord would deliver us in the name of Jesus from the spirit of anger in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. See, so Jesus fell the 5,000. And I pray for multiplication in every area of our lives in the name of your multiplication. And Jesus walked on the water. And I pray in the name of Jesus, every flood of wickedness, they are under our feet in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every situation I have designed to swallow you, to swallow me, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare they are under our feet in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Everyone who is sick in our midst, we pray in the name of for, for the divine healing from those cancer, from those uh, whatever to back losses. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. The word of God says, These people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Hallelujah. In vain do they worship me, te teaching as doctrine the commandment of men. The commandment of men. The commandment of men. May God help us in the name of Jesus. May we worship the Lord from deep in our hearts, our heart, not our lips. In the name of Jesus. You can always see the difference between those who worship the Lord from their heart and from their lips. Those who decide, you know, to follow the commandment of men. The commandment of the Pharisees and Sadducees. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The forces that are attacking the commandment of God in our life. Or the or, or the or the the truth because Christ came forward for the truth. He said, "For you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free." The power that attacking the truth, they are just they are just they are, they are, they are, if they are not billions, they are, they are trillions. I'm telling you, 
but only one person who knows the truth no matter the gathering of wickedness against them they cannot succeed but the reason for those gatherings is to what to, to bring fear to make you to throw away your holiness and your righteousness the, the truth that's supposed to set you free Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego, they decided not to they decided not to throw away the truth. Joseph did not throw the, the, the truth when he was alone. Hallelujah. Neither David threw away the truth. Or Job threw, 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 he did not throw away the truth. Our father in Lord, you know, Abraham did not throw away the truth. Hallelujah. He held the truth. And the truth deliver them from the jaw of wickedness, from the powers of the of the enemy. Hallelujah. Even when people were criticizing and saying things, because there's no way Shadrach, Mission and Abednego, because they're not the only Jews in that very in land of Babylon. There were hundreds of thousands of Jews, but these three decided not to allow the lies and the fear of death. To make them to surrender to the to the king's command. Hallelujah. They say if I die, I die. Imagine hundreds of thousands bowed down. Then only three allow the word of the Bible, the Torah they read, was alive in them. The, 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 you know, if you look very well, not only three of them read, you know, this word, the same word are being read to the congregations of thousands or hundreds. That only these three decided to say, No, I will follow what the Bible is saying. May God help us in the name of Jesus. May we know the truth and allow the truth to set us free and stand by the truth in the name of Jesus. And that's the reason why we're saying in when we're about when we started, said those who know their God, you can only do exploit when you know your God. How do you know your God? When you are obedient child of God. Joshua said, As for me and my house, we serve the Lord. You should meditate in the word of God day and night. David was able to be strong as he was spiritually and as king. Bible said that he, he, he prays seven times a day. And he was a king. He was a father. He was a husband. <laughs> and he was a priest. And he has all that time. My brother and sister would not have excuse. May God help us in the name of Jesus. It's only we appearing to the presence of God all the time, calling to calling on Him. But you know, when we are happy and when we are not happy, when things are right, when things are not right, at all time, that's only when we can you know receive you know doing doing that activity from our heart. That's when you know we will be able to stand against the the devices of the enemy because those devices before they the before before they take over your life or before they they, they, they succeed in the evil activities by the time we are praying in the morning praying in the night you must have one way or the other dealt with that issue about to come hallelujah that is why you have to pray if you look at the at the book of uh, uh, job chapter 38 from verse um, 12 to 15. Talk about have you ever commanded your morning? Why should you be commanding your morning? Because some things have been done. The enemy have done a lot of wicked activities while you were asleep. Then he say, What have you ever commanded your morning? Then you command your morning to cancel whatever the enemy have done before you set out to go out to anywhere in the morning. Because if you don't command your morning and cancel those things, in the process you need to have a horrible day distractions and the wicked activities of the enemy that have already planned that is why god expects us to wake up hallelujah. and when we obey that word hallelujah the morning and the night what will happen is this 
in the process you will be able to be empowered earlier to begin to counsel even though you don't know what the enemy have done but because of the spirit of god in you that is alive and because of you working in obedience the lord will direct your prayer life to tackle those issues may god help us in the name of Jesus. that's the way we overcome and i pray that god will help us in jesus name amen and amen hallelujah 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 thank you lord jesus Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In verse 14 downwards, it talks about, you know, what defies a person. What defies a person. Yeah, Jesus Christ, even though, you know, it took, I myself, it took me quite some time to be able to understand that scripture very well. Hallelujah. It said, what goes in you, what comes out from you, is what defies a person. What comes out. Whereas if you look at it very well, in human understanding, it's supposed to be what goes in you is what defies. But here, Jesus Christ said, is what comes out from you is what defies. Why is it that what comes out of you is what defies? Why is it not what goes in you that defies? That's the reason why the Lord said in his word that you should bring down imaginations. Bring down imagination. Cast out imaginations. Hallelujah. For example, now, if you have that, that, that imagination to steal or to kill or to do evil, and you cast that imagination, you kill it in the processing, where it's still processing your life, in, in your heart, you know, it, it is dead. But if you now, that imagination, bring it out, begin to act it, begin to commit that sin, or begin to steal, then you're bringing out what is in you. It's, you know, if you bring it out, that's what defies. The one is in you. As far as you suppress it, you cast it out. You suppress it. You destroy it. It's not sin. It cannot defy. Because the Spirit of God in you that has given you the light, the understanding, you destroy it. You don't bring it out. Destroy, cast down every imagination that tries to exalt itself above the knowledge of Christ. Hallelujah. May God help us in the name of Jesus. So that when that is why when you wake up in the morning, those negative ideas that comes or those negative dreams that comes, you begin to cancel them, you destroy them, you don't allow them. Because if you allow them, they begin to manifest, they, they take hold of your life, they begin to control you, they begin to make you to be afraid. Just like what I was saying, you know, a few years ago, the place I was working, you know, in the in the night, I have a dream, people doing some fetish thing in the office. What was the enemy was trying to do? Enemy is trying to prevent me from going to work. Because he saw great open door the Lord was about to bring. So what did I do? Early in the morning, as I'm waking up, I counsel, do everything, dress up properly. And when I finish my prayer and casting out those imaginations and bringing them down, the fear is thrown out of the window. I go to office bold. The queen bee, I now begin to allow it to begin to begin to confess it, begin to tell people, you know, see the kind of thing. In the process, it defies me. People begin to you know, give their own negative interpretation too. Fear will set in. In the process, I am down. I cannot move. Because that's what is intention to cripple you, those information. But when you destroy them, you don't let them in. You don't let them out. You destroy them. If you let them out, definitely. That is the social you are looking for yourself. And I pray may the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus, every negative thing is in us, you know, that is cooking. We bring them down, we destroy them. We destroy those imaginations, destroy those ideas, negative ideas, destroy those evil dreams. In the name of don't let them out. If you let them out, they have already ruined your life. May God help us in Jesus' name. That word destroys. What what you let out, what you let out is what destroys. For example, now, you know, even if you have an, um, you know, you know, even if police now catch you, you know, you are doing something wrong, is what you let out from your mouth. That is what you're going to be held, hold against you in the in in the law in the, the law courts. It's not what is going on in your heart. It's not what is in. It can receive your eye can collect information. The way you process it and what comes out is what defies what you comes out. That is what the courts will hold against you. That's what the police will hold against you. That is what they will tell you. Whatever you say will be will be will, will, 
will be held against you at the law court. And then I pray God help us in the name of Jesus. And I see the power of imagination. The power of imagination. If you allow it to stay long, it begins to come out. That as you are processing it, you destroy it. And you don't let it out. May God help us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Then, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Then uh, let us go through the last in the last chapter, which says um, by chapter 36. He said, In and Jesus charged them to tell no one, and no more he charged them. The more zealously, the more zealously they proclaimed it, and they were astonished beyond measure, saying, He has done all this all things well even and he even make the deaf the deaf hear and the mute speak hallelujah and i pray in the name of jesus every wicked activities of enemy against your spiritual mouth against your spiritual ear be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every dullness of the of their hearts in the name of God. The Bible says because of their dullness of the because their hearts are dull and therefore their eyes are blind, their ears are deaf in the name of Jesus. Any spiritual deafness, any spiritual dumbness, the blood is against you in the name of Jesus. Let those eyes begin to see, let those mouths begin to speak. In the name of Jesus. And those who are physically attacked in this measure, we declare in the name of Jesus, let that eye see again. Let that ear hear again. In the name of Jesus, whatever demonic activities that they want to paralyze your spiritual, your physical ear and your spiritual eyes or your spiritual mouth, the blood of Jesus against those activities. In the name of we declare, let the blood of Jesus flow from the crown of your head to soft your feet. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, by your mercy, lay your hands upon them in the name of even tonight, Lord, that they counter in the name of Jesus. Touch those tongues, O Lord. Touch those ears, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let there be total moral recovery in Jesus. Even if they were born deaf or born blind, that when you send them out from heaven, that it wasn't the way they were. And I pray for total restoration to the original form that you created them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, tonight for what you've done. Blessed be your holy name, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you glory. For those who have not given their life to Jesus Christ, it's only you giving your life to Jesus Christ to make you to understand what you have done tonight earlier better. Earlier. Then after this prayer, you can go back to it in the name of Jesus. And I pray that God will open your spiritual eyes and your understanding in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus. He died on the cross of Calvary for you. He loves you so much to set you free. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. It is the truth, the way, and the life. No other way to God. No other way to eternal life. No other way to permanent peace. It's only through Jesus Christ. It's only through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He's the only one out of every human being that has been created in this world. The body said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man on earth has ever. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. And we can identify to this that people almost everywhere in the world today prefer lies, deception, because of self-centeredness and greed. He has all the power. The man that has the power to ask the uh, apostle go to the go to the go to the sea. If you go there, you will see a fish. Open the mouth. You will see money in the mouth of the fish. Take the money and go and pay my tax. He has the power to command, even if his whale or the biggest fish, to come out and be filled up with what money. He's not interested in all that. What was interested is to see you live comfortable in this life, to see you happiest. To see you operate in the in the path of truth and righteousness.
to see you enjoy justice in this life. That's what is after. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. Hallelujah. He's the only one who loves you so much. It's not a greedy God. So people may be asking which 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 a lot of question I, I do here. You know, why if God is this, why is this, why is God is this, why this, why this, why this, why is he not doing this? Why is he not doing this? You know, his major reason for coming, first of all, is to save you so that you will not die. And therefore, that's the reason why he looks as if you know he's very slow. To answer our prayers because he doesn't want anybody to die, even though that I have believed in him as a personal Lord and Savior, now walking in the path of you know truth and righteousness. You know, now you know, I'm sorted myself by the grace of God there with him. Now, somebody out there is you know releasing some wicked activities against me, want me to die, want to kill me, and all those stuff. As God loves me, I want me to be in peace. The same way too, he loved that person who is doing that evil against me. It doesn't matter how wicked that person is. It doesn't matter how many people that that person have killed. You need to understand this. That's the reason why it looks as if he is. Because he is giving that wicked man or that wicked woman opportunity to repent. He doesn't want him to, to perish in his or her sin. That's the reason why you look as if he's, he doesn't answer you. Don't like the example I gave a certain time ago. For example, now I'm here by the grace of God. If I have some people, I'm taking probably let me say I have a, a ten people I'm taking care of. Every month I give, I give, or every day I give them money. You, you, ha you have to feed you, go and eat, and I'm doing that. Then we have my wicked boss also. I have some people in his family that he's taking care of, or some people who are around him. He's sponsoring in schools, doing this, doing that, doing that. But unfortunately, we don't agree in our spirit. You know, we always fight. Now I'm a Christian, I'm praying, God, kill him, kill him, kill him. If God kill him, out of those people who are praying that God, this man, because of this good thing he's doing to me, please keep this wicked man alive. So he at least he sponsor me in my school. He will take care of the people he's taking care of. You see how this thing relates. That's the reason why God will not just come and just answer your prayer and just go and kill that wicked man or kill that person you say you don't like. You see, that wicked person too, is his son, is his uh, son, is his daughter. He's still fulfilling his will one way or the other. Even though he's wicked, but he's doing good to someone else there. See how God merciful God is. Do that thing that look as if God is very, very, it doesn't, you know, God is very slow. He's not slow. He doesn't want anybody to perish. He just tried everything to balance everything up. Hallelujah. But in the process, it will keep, you know, having patience for the person to repent. You know, opening doors and making room for the person to know that what he's doing is not good. But if the person continue in that wickedness, the Lord will begin to make another opportunity for those people he's taking care of. For somebody else to take up his responsibility. Then when that is totally done, then he cannot take him away. May God help us in the name of Jesus. It may not take one year, it may not take two years, it may not even take ten years. Sometimes it may not even take twenty years. And, uh, but one of the greatest prayer that I have learned to pray, even when God has refused to answer you to destroy that your wicked father or wicked uncle, or wicked whatever, say, God, give me the grace to follow. Give me the grace. To manage that situation. Give me the grace. In the process, go with that situation to bring out patience, to bring out endurance, to bring out some wonderful virtue of divine love of Christ. You know, you know, out of it, you come out as a gold. Just like David came out of his own, you know, troubling time as a gold. See the way he handled Saul. 
But did the soul die in, with all his prayers? He did not die. Immediately. Hallelujah. Because he lost all of us. And he doesn't want any of us to die. Hallelujah. And therefore, that is the kind of God that you will serve. And he loves you. And he wants you to give your life to, to him. In the name of Jesus. So that he can transform you and change your mind. So you begin to think right. So you begin to have your do what uh, pleases him. So you begin to walk in the path of holiness and righteousness. In the name of Jesus. And you will be the great, I mean, and they're the greatest beneficiary. And then when you begin to walk in this path, in the name of Jesus, this night, in the name of Jesus, if you're there, you're not giving your life to Jesus Christ once again. I want you to repeat these words with me. Say, Lord Jesus, please, Lord, forgive me of my sin. I know I have sinned against you. Forgive me. Cleanse me, Lord. Wash me, Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I give you my heart. I give you my spirit, soul, and body. Come into my life and take charge of everything that concerns me. I will serve you from now to the rest of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. This night is one of those long nights again. We thank God in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Right now, hallelujah. We are you know, concluding now in the name of Jesus. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when people rose up against us, then they would have sorrowed us up our life. When their anger was kindled against us, then the flood would have swept us away. The torrent would have gone over us. Then over us would have gone the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us hallelujah as a prayer to their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the snake or the fowler. In the name of Jesus, the snail is broken. We have escaped because your help, my help, our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your compassion. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. And this night again, once again, we say how the, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord protect you. May the Lord smile on you. May the Lord be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. How the, our beloved brother or sister, how the, our, our, our Alistair Paul, God bless you for joining us tonight in the name of Jesus. We pray that God of heaven will continue to bless you and keep you in the name of Jesus. And I will pray in the name of Jesus that all those who have joined us and those who will join us in the future, how they, how they, I pray in the name of Jesus, will be at the right place at the right time when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound. We will not miss this glorious heaven in the name of Jesus. Amen. Love you all and have wonderful night rest. By the grace of God, we will be here again in the morning. For those who can, please join us. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Shalom to you all.